Alright, well, let's go this way. Go to Lizzie's bar and let's go meet up with the client. Is that it right there? Yep, Lizzie's bar. Oh, what in the world? Did someone, like, glitch on top of me? Did you guys see that? Someone was, like, T-posing in the dr- like, above the driver's seat. For, like, a split second there. That was crazy. Get out of the- Ah! Get out of the way! I'm trying to park! I can honk. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying to- Okay, I'm gonna take this parking spot then. Jeez, talk to the bouncers. Why can't I move? Like, it's- it's- like, slowing me down. It's slowing down my car so much. Okay, whatever. I'll get out of the car then. I guess there's a valet service here. I can't park my own car. All right, gotta talk to the bouncers then. Yeah, I gotta get in. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure, I'm in. Brain dance? What's good? I guess that's BD is brain dance. I guess I'll do this one. Brain dance? What's good? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Auteur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. I really know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word, bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? All right, yep, let's do it. Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Door's open. Now it is. Have fun, Input. Welcome to Lizzie's. Well, I'm not here to have fun, if you guys know what I mean, but, uh... Face you have. Pff, just texting over there or whatever you're doing. Uh, I'm here to have a meeting at, uh, between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Yep, area safe. I forgot what that meant. Did it tell me what that... I don't know. Either way, let's see if we can find, uh, whoever over here, the client. Oh, all the way over there, 15 meters away. I'm just gonna avoid all the demonetizable stuff and go to the bar section. Hey. Hey. Get you something. That's the client. Looking for Evelyn. What can I get here? Get up. Better get going. Please still works here. Looking for Evelyn. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Names of E. Answer the question. A big tipper. Ooh, I could do that one for whatever that is. Five. You know what? I'll do that one. Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. Mm. It's all right, Mateo. Wait for this one. Is that her? Is that Evelyn? Just gonna stare at me. What are we doing here? Evelyn oh. Parker. Pour me a drink. Didn't see that. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Hmm. My tequila of choice. As I stare at hers. Glug glug glug. I'm drinking some apple juice right now, you guys. Since on, only tequila I drink. Hmm. How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Let's talk shop. The contract. Why meet here? Yeah, this is kind of random. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing. This place. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. Know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Can I take another sip? We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Alright, let's go. So, what? Well, it feels like it's like limiting my walking speed. Why don't you just tell me the truth? Alright, let's go in here. Hey, that's just a hologram. Don't demonetize me. What's happening? You know what's serious when someone lights up right before a conversation. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Don't know him well. Haven't worked together long. I'm the best. Yeah, I'm like, what is that, the brag, like, skill check? <laughs> Let's do that one. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than 
scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. Hmm. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex is clear. The job's high risk. Hey, can you, like, get away from that demonetizable thing? By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? Just started working with him. What are you writing, Dex's bio? <laughs> Oh, that's like the savage, that's like the bragging like skill check there, let's keep doing it. You writing Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Huh. Curious. Well, let's talk business. Got any doubts? Ring Dex. Yeah. But let's just talk business. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your... Target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arisaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arisaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Nope. Out of my price range. Never had the opportunity. You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. Hmm. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Hmm. Just some little smirk when I said that. Let's see what's up your sleeve. Yorinobu's got an army around him, I bet. Seriously, he's my target, Yorinobu. Yorinobu, Arasaka. I'm waiting. Let's see what's up your sleeve. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Where does Yorinobu keep the relic? That watch, something doesn't add up. Uh, where do they keep the relic? Fine, so no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Yori Arasaka, what else do you know? What's on this relic? Guess I'll do these ones before we leave. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path. And so has his own designs on the corp. Risky move with a biochip. Maybe he's just got a taste for power. I'm like, either one. Eh, let's do the first one. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control. Of anything. What's on this relic? Guess we'll do that one before we stand and leave? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. 
I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Yeah, they really want us to just blindly do these jobs. Like, like literally the first thing, you know, transporting that box, not knowing what was inside of it. Turns out it was iguana. Now we're going to be transferring this, this data chip, and no one knows what's on inside it, or at least she's not telling us. Maybe it's just like a, a picture of a cat or something like that, right? That's all that's on the data chip, and it's really important. <laughs> all right, well, what's next? Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking off to in those Would boxes. You like anything else? No. It can be a very useful tool. What are they doing? Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? So you know Nor so you know Yorinobu personally. No, no objections. I guess we'll do the first one again. Let's do the first one. Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Hmm. All right. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox. Not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. There's all this stuff around here. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. <laughs> hey, Judy. Quite the setup here. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Just walk right through me? <laughs> Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. Look at that keyboard. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? I don't even know what a brain dance really even is. <laughs> uh, I think I can take it. No, never. What's so raw about it? What do you mean by raw? How does this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Biro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Alright. What are we doing, some Assassin's Creed memes over here now? Loading into the Animus. Whoa. Gotta create your sensory profile first. What's this going to do? Okay, profile away. A what profile? A what profile now? 
a model of your perceptions and emotional responses. You need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nah. -uh. Okay, profile away. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. <laughs> now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. I didn't even see Evelyn was over there. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. I'm gonna go off to calibrate each time. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. Hmm. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Start the BD. All right, let's do it. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Whoa. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was too much. Could have warned me. That was too much. Felt. I could feel the guy's pain, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. So are these like implanting memories into me? And I'm like reliving them? That's what the brain dance thing is? I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Whoa. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. What? Play pause. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. Like, pause it. Can I rewind it? A playback mode? Editing mode? Oh, this is playback mode, so I go there and then editing mode. Okay, interesting. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. Now, can I see into the I can't see into the building right now because it's not a part of the memory right now. I guess everything I can see is just like from this guy's perspective right now. So I can't see like... I can see all this stuff though, right? And there's like a person right here. Leaving the signal... Ro oh! That's like the limits of the reality recorded by the BD roller. The editor won't let you outside it. Make sense? Yeah, because he's like not seeing it or whatever. It's like too far away or I don't know, but random Night City residences over here getting their names. Yuna's Zaki. Right, let's keep playing it. Studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. 
Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Get out, get out. That rewinds it. Okay. I guess we'll just go to the very beginning then. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Hold E to fast forward. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Hold R to reset. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. All right, guess we gotta play. Wait till actually, you know what? Fast forward, because you don't you don't get the gun until very. I don't know about. The, oh wait, hold on, there it was. Yep, he, he just. Ah oh man, okay, let's go back. On your go. Oh, there it is. Okay, right here. Old sections of the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues can overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, the clues disappear from the track. All right, sounds good to me. So we gotta scan that thing. So scan it with our, or just hover over it. Excellent. Pistol. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Switch layer with left shift. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. What is this? The opening of the door sound? Pack of six, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. This seems insane. Now, what was that thing outside, though? I saw there was a sound out here I could have, uh, never mind. Oh, yeah, because he moved away. Is that now I can't, uh, I guess I could rewind. That'll do it. So when he's, like, over here, there's, like, a sound in the back. Yeah, this thing. What is this? Is that just the air conditioner? Okay, fuck! On you ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Wait, what is this? Are those the guys inside? I don't know what that was from. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, uh... Hold on, how do I switch layer again? Left shift. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello, nice. Now, let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Alright, well, let's, uh, fast forward a little bit. With you today are two flavors. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Alright, well, uh, fast forward. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I was, like, right at the end. And that was like the end when he uh, gets the lead injection. All right, here it is. Now I guess I could switch to his layer, but I, I still need to be like in this third person mode, I guess. Can I scan this guy? I guess I can't. Not right now, at least. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. Oh. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. Alright. This is so weird, you guys. And go to the screen. How is this picking up the screen and all this? What? Oh, enhanced meme over here. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. 
Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Alright, exit a brain dance with X. This seems insane, you guys. Wow. There's a lot of possibilities that you could do with this. And they're just now introducing us to the uh, concept. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. Mm. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. You can trust T-Bug. Judy, T-Bug's a professional. Discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Call T-Bug. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kompeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kompeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Doesn't matter. You ready? Yeah, Judy and Evelyn. Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay. Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Yeah, I forgot that we're doing a uh, the job for Evelyn there. So now we're going into like her recording that she did whenever she was in that guy's like place. Oh, you look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she, I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick too. Mm. I said, no, they'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. All right, I'll switch track to. How do I switch it? Oh, it's not letting me switch it. Uh, I guess I'll rewind. About right here. Ooh. Yeah, they're still talking, like, right here. You're okay, pretty much where the... Oh, yeah, okay, about right here. Let's pause, or, uh, play. See what they're saying when we walk in. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. Mm. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. We shall see soon enough. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. You will listen to is an adult despot. Wow, champagne's utterly decent. removed from reality. Taste boosted somehow? Stuck in nope. some fossilized vision of a world Same bubbly, you'll that be no longer real exists. Soon. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Hmm. Not it. In Wait, hold, hold on. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Hold on. I 
Can I listen to the other end of that phone? How do I do that right now? Editing mode, uh... Oh, they changed it to... Okay, that's tab to go into editing mode. Can I listen to this phone? Uh, I'm trying to scan right now, nothing's happening. Hold on, what if we uh, switch layer to the audio layer? There we go. I want to listen to the whole phone signal. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide right. them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Specific storage conditions. So where could it be? Scan the apartment. Security system's optional. Huh, I guess I could do that randomly. Where would that be? Probably like when you walk in, there's usually an alarm system thing. Let's see what the TV was. Like he was talking to this guy beforehand. Here in a drone. Ventilation and cooling. Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Oh, wait. Uh, so can I not listen to that then? Hold on. What if I rewind it? Either way, yeah, I guess I guess we can't listen to whatever this guy was talking about. Like beforehand. Leaving signal range. Yeah, I guess I can't. Oh, oh. Yeah, I guess I can't listen to that. But if it needs to be stored in a specific place, where would it be then? And hold on. Yeah, since we're like towards the beginning right now. See, uh, you know what? Let's go to audio, visual. Yeah, visual. Is there a security? Oh, is it this thing that's technically security? I think it is. Hold on, pause. There you go. Is this guy the security system? Scan the apartment security system. I guess it didn't count right there. Oh, it's this. I thought it might have been the robot, but yeah, it is this like thing next to the door. Alarm firmware is fresh, but. Saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their sigs. Hmm, all right. Forge your signatures. Alarm system there. Scan the apartments. Oh, there's another one here. Scan this one real quick. Oh, there you go. This there's going to be more of them, like, all around the entire apartment, huh? In the visual layer, scan his data pad. Yeah, I saw whenever, uh... She tried to, to open his data pad, but, or whatever this thing is right here, right? Oh, I guess I have to wait until she gets closer. Hold on. Maybe whenever she touches it, I'll be able to pick it up? Because she has, like, contact with it? No. In the visual layer, scan his data pad while it's turned. Oh, while it's turned on, I probably have to do it whenever, like. Let me scan it now. Yeah, there it is. You just turn it off. So, where's she at? Oh, there she is. So she is close, she is in range, which is good. There it is. Yeah, I think we're going to wait until uh, after, because I guess he, he interacts with it a little bit later. So I guess we'll fast forward through all this, just getting the drink. Hold on, let's actually uh, switch to the other one. Playback mode. There we go, first person. Oh! Yeah, let's rewind a little bit. To about right here. Yeah, about right here. Let's let's see what happens after uh, after he hangs up on that guy. It requires specific storage conditions. You must no. provide them. Enough. Hmm. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Grabbed his data pad right there, so. 
will be able to use it. And by candy, I assume she means you know what. Very nice. But come here already. <laughs> Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Reading through his emails. Ah, uh, you'll like this. Don't rewind, or else you'll get me to monetize you guys. Okay, hold on. Data pad is on. Let's let's uh analyze scan. Boom. Scanning. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Okay. Well, we never got to do the thermal layer stuff last time, did we? Uh, left shift. Ooh. Interesting. So it's got to be kept in, like, a freezer, as I said. That's obviously outside. It's guns. you think a gun would be pretty cold, because, you know, metal. Oh, leaving the thing. Ah. Okay. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Rewind. The, uh, there's, like, a bar area where she got a drink. There's got to be a freezer over there. Or, like, a fridge or something like that, you know? Let's wait until... Oh, that's, like, all the way back. There. Can I, like... I guess I have to actually wait until it goes through all this first. Oh, wait, what's this? That must have... Wait, no, what is this thing? Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Hmm. What are these things? Okay. Air conditioner stuff, probably. What is this stuff? Ah. Uh, I doubt those are, like, freezers and stuff, though. Oh, what is that? Oh, the, is that the iguana? That's the iguana from the intro. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that thing. That's cool. Oh, there's, like, a hole upstairs. Oh, well, this is outside of range of it, but... This, okay, this is heading in the correct direction. Man, it's gonna take a little while though until she gets to over to the uh, to the bar area. Then boom. Okay. Oh yep. There it is. Fridge. Just a fancy ass fridge. What? Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Hmm. Uh, a lamp. It's got to be a lamp. Uh, how do we switch the layer again? Shift. That's not making it any easier. I don't really see what that is. Nothing back there. Signal range. Uh, I guess we'll keep going backwards. See if there's any, uh... There's no free. There's really no freezer there. I don't know, you guys. I think I'm going to have to fast forward into the bedroom. It's, it's probably in the bedroom, or, you know, whatever this section of the area would be, right? Already scanned that thing. This thing, uh... No air conditioning ducts above us, nothing above us. Actually, you know what, whenever she's doing something with that panel on the wall, there's probably something going on during that, so it's gonna be hugging, and then she goes over there, and he goes to the bedroom, okay. What's going on over here? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's the panel, and here's the bedroom, yeah. I thought there was, I thought the panel was like over here. I'm not seeing any more, uh, security stuff, might wanna fast forward till she's done with the panel, reading through the messages about demonetizable stuff. <laughs> Like All right, this. come on. Hurry up. There you go. So about, and then there's the gun. I guess I could scan it just because we never did it earlier. So there you go. She asked us a gun. Is there a fridge? Oh, man. Oh, what's that up there? Well, it's just an air conditioner unit, right? Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Well, what about the bedroom? Well, at least we found something right there, which is good, but I'm not seeing anything anywhere else, and we're getting close to the end of the, uh, brain recording thing. Then, okay, and then, then she's doing some stuff there, you guys. She's, uh, helping to tighten his belt. That's what she's doing. <laughs> okay. Not seeing anything here. And it's highlighted for the, uh, thermal thing. So, let's see. Why is this being high? Oh! Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. All right, looks like we found it. Yorinobu's got the case here, guaranteed. Mm-hmm, we got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. 
Man, that was crazy, you guys. That was really cool, though. Scan the apartment security systems. We could do that uh, real quick, though, I suppose. Oh, hold on. Is that a camera? It is. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Hmm. All right. So yeah, not, not only just looking for, like, alarms and stuff, gotta look for, uh, cameras, too. On the wall. So, yeah, let, you know what? While we're doing this, I might as well try and find some cameras. There's gotta be one, like, towards the entrance, right? Like, up on the wall, and I just... Oh, yep, there you go. Another one right there. Motion sensor camera. Guess that's still not all of them. And I... I'm like, I already scanned this thing, but I guess it didn't count. Or it didn't matter, or whatever. Let me keep scanning some more stuff around here, you guys. Oh, another camera. And there's something above us as well. Another motion sensor and an automated turret. Oh my gosh. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. System is all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. All right. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. And looks like, uh, I'm looking at the timeline there. Is there anything else at the very end there? Because that's, there's another highlight right there. I don't know what that's... Oh, why is this all purple now? Or pink? Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Yeah. I scanned that earlier, so that's good. We brought that up. But now I'm, now I'm done with this. So that's good. So how do I exit that again? Just, uh... Oh, yeah. X to exit. Right. Yep, there you go. Oh, is there no sound right now for some- Oh. Oh, there you go. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Sounds good. Man, that was really cool though, you guys. Going through the, uh, like, apartment there just from, like, a recorded memory. That was really interesting. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. What? What was that supposed to mean? We really needed that recording, Judy. We needed that recording, Judy. The BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. All right. That's cool. I get to keep the brain uh, thing. Talk to Evelyn now. Hey, how's it going? Let's walk. Man, look at this big server farm over here. All for brain dance memes. Well, Can I loot this? what do you think? So what now? Connection to Yoranobu? Yoranobu. What's, uh, what's its nature? Exactly. Not afraid they'll tie you to the heist. I'm sure everything's under control. Well? You know what? Let's do, do this think? one. Are you not afraid they'll tie you to the heist? You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. Hmm. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me. So what now? Connection to... Let's do this one. Connection to Yorinobu. What's its nature exactly? I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. Whoa. I thought she was just adjusting his belt for him. That's what I was thinking. What a complete turn of events there. <laughs> You sure Yorinobu doesn't suspect a thing? I'm like, eh, he, he probably could, but like he'll so distract by the whole belt tightening. If you guys are belt loosening, if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> All right, let's do this one. 
You sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? Hmm, alright. Sure everything's under control? Whoops. Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Compeki. Winds are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm, thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. So what now? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No Dex. Hmm. I'll think about it. No way Dex trusts me. Ooh, I don't know if I want to cut him out. You want to haze our fixer? You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. I'll think about it. No way Dex trusts me. Man, I don't know. I'm like, we only just met Dex. We haven't even... Well, we just did that, uh, that one robot job. So technically, this would be our second well, job. Man, I don't know. I could just say I'll think about it. I guess we could answer it later. Let me do this one first, though. No way Dex trusts me. Oh, that one sounds really not open-ended like this one. I'll think about it. Man, I don't know. I don't want to screw that guy over. He seems pretty chill. But at the same time, remember Vic said to not, like, trust him or be suspicious about him. Hmm. You know what? I'll think about it. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Hmm. All right, guys. Oh, and we leveled up again. Yeah, we have more attributes and uh, per uh, points that we could do. How things looking, Mr. V? I got the Compeki recording. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. Everything's ready to roll. What now? We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. Hmm. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V. See, I don't want to screw that guy over. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want me to do. You guys want me to screw him over or do you guys want me to do what he wants? Because if we screw him over, well, what in the world? Why are these, like, blurry? Well, these aren't blurry. These ones specifically are blurry, though. Oh, Jackie's texting us right now. What's the... something. What's the status? Oh, I can actually text him back. I didn't realize. Is that a thing I could do in the other ones? Let you know later, Jack. Met with a client. Played me a brain dance of the place we're supposed to blah, 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 blah. I guess I could answer that one. Can I share that with him? Should I share that with him? You know, I don't want to screw over this Dex guy. Because that sounds super savage. I want to build up, like, a, a working relationship with him and maybe get more jobs and then... Maybe down the line we can turn our back on him and backstab him, but not like our second job. That's a little too early, right? So I think I'm going to tell him, you know what? I met with a client, played me a brain dance at the place we're supposed to blah, 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 and uh, just tell him everything, I guess. We're supposed to visit. Brain dance, huh? <laughs> all right, all right. Just keep me posted. 
All right. So am I able to, uh, come on V, wait, what was this? I guess I can't reply to those because those are too, uh, then we have Dexter to Sean. Yeah, it's not letting me reply to those. So I guess you could reply to some text message. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's the one I replied to. I guess you could reply to some text messages, but other ones are just to say, ooh, all that kind of stuff. So either way, there you go. Oh, whoops. There you go. So how do I get out of here now? This. Then people over here are dancing because this is a dance club. This is a disco club, right? <laughs> this. Oh, yep. This is the front door. Okay, man. This is like so confusing, though. There you go. Come on in. What? I just. I just came here, but whatever, I guess I have to leave again. <laughs> Alright, but either way, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should do. Should I screw Dex over and get 50% whenever the money changes hands? Let's see, what does that say? Who's this? Bart Moss Collective. Whenever the money, or whenever money changes hands, your true self becomes a victim to capitalism. Uh, okay. At least it's not socialism, right? But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should do with Dex. Should I, should I betray him and get the 50% of the pay? Can I really, like, not drive, like, specifically right there? Guess not, huh? Or should I, should I be loyal to him? At least this early on in the game. And, and not betray him. I'm really, I'm really feeling like not betraying him right now, you guys. Maybe we can do it later, but not right now. 